Hey there everyone, it's JP from the Nick Estates Group. Today we're going to take a look at this house just listed today. It's August 25th. This is 1145 Trevor Drive in West Kelowna. It's a fully renovated home. Uh, new hot water tank, new AC, new furnace, and uh, lots of upgrades to this home. So we're going to take a look inside of this home, take a walk through, and that way you can take a look at what it is. So here's the outside of the house. Quite nice, it looks like it's been repainted outside. There's a nice front yard here, censored light. And then there is a lake view, even from the driveway you can see the lake. It's a beautiful day today, it is raining. You can see the nice light coming out of the clouds. So from the second floor, we'll show you the view later, but it'll, it'll probably be quite nice. So it's got a two car garage over here, a nice big front entry with two doors, steps up. And we're gonna go to the back of the house and take a look over there. So here's the backyard of the property. Here's the house. Has an exit from the garage and then stairs up to the second level. But the property is quite big. It is 0.37 acres of land and it has a back lane access. So they have the potential to subdivide this property depending on the zoning requirements or you could build a carriage house. So it's quite nice, very, very spacious. So here you can see they've added some extra parking, but there's the laneway in the back there. And here's the backyard coming to the house. So very large, and you can see the new AC over here. So that's been updated, I believe, in 2017. So we're back at the front on the other side of the house right now, and you can see the deck. There's the natural gas line and the electrical. And a nice little thing, they've been maintaining the property quite nicely. They have the gutters that are running out from the house there, away from the house here as well. So they're taking care of the property. Little updates like that are very good. The siding of the house is wood, but it's been well maintained. Definitely been painted, so that's also a good thing. Now there is a little bit of deterioration, uh, like here on the steps. It's obviously probably original wood stairs, but the stairs look like they're fairly secure. There's the new air conditioning system from just a couple years ago. And we'll go ahead and go back to the front of the house and we'll take a look inside. So we're coming in from the main entry. It's a bi-level, so you can go up or down. We're going to go down first. This house was built in the 1970s, but it was updated. It's four bedrooms and three bathrooms. I believe it's a two and a half bath. So here's the living area downstairs. Not It has lots of nice windows. There's a little storage under the stairs there. And if we come through to the right, it is a way to the garage and the mechanical. And we have laundry hookup over here. The windows here, and then updated the furnace. Hot water tank was 2009, and it's a little guy, so it probably would need to be redone pretty soon. The furnace, though, is new in 2017, and through this door here we have the garage. This is a back exit here from the garage, and it's quite a nice size. You have workspace two-car garage and then back into the house through back through to where we came we have a bathroom to the right it's a full bathroom it has been redone so that's kind of nice new tiling it has a vent nice light and then over to the left of that is a bedroom so we have a window bed a walk-in closet, so that's kind of nice. Nice big walk-in closet there. And then they have space for a TV. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back upstairs and we're going to go take a look. So we're going to go back upstairs here. This is the main entry doors. They are original. They kept it for aesthetics. That's quite nice. And if we come up the stairs, it's a little bit of a curve. They've kept the original wood at the top here of the roof, which is nice. A little di formal dining area, living, and then bright, bright windows, which is quite a nice little feature. 
And here's the view from the second floor. So there is a lake view. It's pretty. And if we come through the formal dining and come to a sitting area, a little TV family room. And there is a patio off of there. A little bit of a wraparound. And from here, you can walk through to the kitchen. And then there's another patio from the kitchen. Covered patio, which is nice. We've had a little bit of rain though, so it's been blowing in at an angle. Uh, counters are wood with laminate on them, which is fine. And the plumbing here is still the original copper. You can see here that the plumbing underneath the kitchen sink is copper, but it is still original. And in the kitchen, there's the stove and the fridge. We'll come back through the entry and we'll go take a look at the bedrooms. So down the hall to the right, we have one bedroom. So we're gonna take a look at that first. It's a nice big bedroom, fits a king size bed. A full size closet here. Three nice big windows which give you a view of the lake. And it has its own ensuite here. Hello. Full ensuite, so full bathroom. Custom tiled, this has been updated. Tiled flooring and a new vanity. If we come back out, the way we came. Across the hall there's another bedroom. This one's a fairly standard size. It has a nice little feature wall painted there, window, and a little closet. Coming back out, at the end of the hall is another bathroom. This one's a half bathroom. Tiling floor has been updated. The toilet's new. The little vanity's new. The whole thing's been updated. And then here at the end of the hall is another bedroom. So normally at the end of the hall you would have a master, but this looks like it's just a single bedroom so the one the first one bedroom that we looked at with the ensuite would be your master this one is a standard bedroom with a closet and that is the house it is a fairly standard 1970s home by level that's been updated but kept some of the nice aesthetics of the original home this home just hit the market today it's a 1978 home that's been updated with some modern touches but still keeping some of the original character of the house which is really quite nice hopefully you enjoyed this walkthrough remember to please like and subscribe it has it helps the channel and also hit the notification bell so that you get updated whenever we upload a new video thank you again for watching and we'll see you on the next one